What's going on, y'all? It's Robert Laurie coming to you guys again with the Think Up Podcast. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, I'm going to be brief. I really appreciate you guys' support. Thank you guys. This is episode number eight. I'm coming to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed your Tuesday. I want to be really brief. I just want to, you know, add value to you guys to Think Up Podcast again. And on this podcast, the goal is just to help you to become the highest expression of who God is calling you to be. And that's all I'm striving to become myself, uh, for me, for my family. And uh, that's what God is calling every single one of us, to become all God is calling us to be. I think 2020 was a year that really tested a lot of our faith and really showed us that we are stronger than we think. It's really unfortunate the things that happen. But I believe that the answer is every single one of us becoming all God is calling us to be. So I pray this content adds value to your life. And I'm going to get right in it. Uh, This one is called Desire Matures to Faith. Faith Matures to Belief. And Beliefs Acted on Daily Becomes Your Reality. Desire Matures to Faith. Your faith matures to belief. And your beliefs acted on daily becomes your reality. And this one I'm going to be talking about the importance of you having a strong desire to become all God is calling you to be. You know, I know uh, me being a Christian, it's real easy to just jump straight to faith and say, oh man, you got faith in something. If you believe in something real strong or have faith in it, it's just going to happen. It's going to manifest. But I learned through personal experience that nothing happens until you first want it, until you first have a strong desire. And that desire feeds your faith And then that faith feeds your beliefs. And then as you act on your beliefs every day with your goals, with your vision, then your beliefs uh, that will become your reality. And I want to read you guys a scripture. It's Proverbs, the 13th chapter in the fourth verse. It says, the soul of the sluggard desires and has nothing. I'm sorry, I'm doing some laundry. Uh, Let me read that again. Proverbs 13, 4. The soul of the sluggard desires and has nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. And I always thought to myself, how is it that the slothful person, the lazy person has all these desires, but they have nothing? And that's when it hit me is because they didn't allow their desire to mature to faith so that faith can manifest in their life by growing into a belief and then into your everyday reality. And it's so important, everybody, that your desire you feed your desire. Now, desire has, you know, desires can be anything. I know when I say that word, a lot of times we connect it to negative things, but uh, you got to want something greater than what you see. I know for me and my family, I want everything God has for us. Yes, I got faith. I believe in it, but I got a desire. I desire that thing. I want everything that God has for me and my family. And I had to learn that, you know what? Nothing happens until you first have a strong desire. What are you desiring? What do you really want for you, for your family? What's the vision for your life? Think about it. What you don't have a desire of, you don't pursue. I mean, we can just easily connect that to relationships. When you have a desire in an individual, you pursue them. If you don't have a desire, you don't, you don't got no energy. You know, you, you think of all types of reasons why not to go around that person. But desire, uh, uh, let's not minimize our desire when it comes to embracing all God is calling you to be. You got to have a desire. There's another scripture that says desire the sincere milk of the word that we may grow. God doesn't make us grow in his knowledge and his understanding. You got to have a desire And as you have that desire, you begin to read your word and God will bless you with more understanding and more wisdom. But it first start with a desire, y'all. So, uh, yeah, desire matures to faith. Faith matures to beliefs and your beliefs acted on daily becomes your reality. And, uh, you know, it's so easy for us to, you know, live our lives and have a, a big vision, a big goal. But yet we don't do the daily actions that's required for those goals to come to pass. I'm a strong believer, and I know you guys heard this before, that what you do every day determines your life. So let's minimize 
and not think so big that we just speak about faith and keep our goals in the faith realm, but let's bring them down to our everyday reality. What are you doing every day that is a reflection of what you want to come to pass? What is your vision? What do you believe in God for? What is God calling out of you? What gifts, what talents is God striving to uh, put in you to give to the world? You know, uh, this book that uh, is going to be coming out, Think Up to Get Up, How to Break Free from Destructive Ways of Thinking. Uh, this book was a strong desire of mine. I've been wanting to write this book for about maybe uh, five or six years before I began to write it. But that desire calls me to sow into my faith to say, you know what? L let me just try it. And as I tried it, I started to believe I can write it. And then I wrote it. Now, in your life, what things that you got a desire that, you know, you I think I could be good at this or that. I think I could start this business. I think uh, this is my ministry. What is God, what desires God put in you? Now, I'm asking you, like, no, no, preferably consider it, you know, because in our culture today, there's so much knowledge, so much information. I mean, you can... <laughs> You know, you don't want to uh, just go after stuff just because you like it. I believe as you be prayerful enough, God will give you that wisdom because everybody has a purpose. And that's what the goal of this podcast, to help you to become all that God is calling you to be, become the highest expression of who God is calling you to be and nothing less. And I believe that you got to you got to know that there's something greater out there for you. I think many of us does. We know that, man, it, it's greatness in me. Am I going to let that greatness lie dormant because of my past? Am I going to let that greatness lie dormant because of my fears, for my insecurities? What well, people may criticize me, people may misunderstand me. Let me tell you something. When you're going after your purpose and you striving to walk into your purpose, people are going to misunderstand you. People may not be for you, but you got to understand you got to be for yourself. You got to know that God is calling something greater out of you and you don't want to die with that in you because of your fears, because of your insecurities. You know, that's when you have courage, have the courage to be all God is calling you to be. And uh, I pray this content bless you guys. Uh, again, if you guys uh, want to get in contact with me, please, you guys can uh, email me at Robert L. Laurie, L-O-W-E-R-Y-3 at gmail.com. Thank you guys for all the comments, uh, all of the praise. I really appreciate it, y'all. I'm really stepping out on faith doing this. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just striving to come with you, to come to you guys every day, uh, giving you guys this content because I number one, I pray it's gonna bless you, and number two, I know I need to build. Uh, a, a communication with social media because I, I really had none because I'm striving to become a full-time author, striving to uh, uh, write books. Now, this is my first book, but I got many more. And uh, I know that I want to give this content out because I want to see, uh, is it effective? Because honestly, y'all, everything I'm sharing with y'all, I pray it bless you guys and I believe it is valuable. But these are things that I personally needed. All of these these things I'm giving y'all, the content that I wrote in the book, uh, it's stuff that I needed. I needed to think above my circumstance because I was drowning in my fears. I was drowning in my insecurities. I was connecting my identity to other people. I was uh, I didn't have confidence in myself. And I love Jesus, but let me tell you something. Just because we love Jesus don't mean that everything works out. Don't mean that your faith and you just believe in God for greater. I mean, it's so easy to be a believer and believe in God, but yet it's not manifested in your life. And uh, I learned in my personal life that it was my thinking. My thinking was what was contaminated. I was going to God with this victim mentality, just like I talked about in episode one and two. I was coming to God as a victim. I was insecure. Let me tell you something, y'all. God wants to heal us and break us free from our mess. But what I was doing, I was throwing Jesus into my crap, saying, you know what? I, I, did, I went through this. I went through that. You know uh, what God going to bless? You know, like, like a victim. I'm sorry, but the word of God is meant to empower you. It's meant to help you to become all God is calling you to be. Not for you to wallow in your mess or wallow in your fears. It's meant to break you free. But just like I'm talking about tonight, you got to have a desire to want to be free. God doesn't make anybody free. God doesn't force anybody to do anything. But that desire will grow and mature as you feed it with the word of God, 
with getting uh, people around you, uh, uh, connecting with a church community that's praying and speaking life over you. And that desire that, you know what, I can come out. I am better than this. That desire then turns to faith. Like, man, like this could happen. You know, I'm going to believe that, you know, that uh, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to be insecure anymore. And then that faith uh, matured to belief. Now, all of this is predicated on what you're doing every day, y'all. I, I got to stress that, you know, insecurity. That, that's I, I love to talk about that, y'all, because I believe it's an epidemic in our culture of people feeling low of themselves and insecure. And God knows in our culture and uh, social media, it's so easy to look perfect in front of everybody. But uh, we all know we're not perfect, but man, it's so easy to put off that image. But when you want to break free from your fears and insecurities, what are you listening to daily? What are you what are you allowing to uh, enter your heart? And yeah, that's so important. Only allow things that speaking into your life to enter your heart every day. And eventually you begin to get the faith and the confidence uh, to become all God is calling you to be. So I pray this content bless you guys. This episode number eight of the Think Up podcast. Uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel, guys. If you guys uh, love these messages, I'm coming to you guys every day. I'm going to come to you preferably in the morning, tomorrow morning, or maybe in the evening. Uh, but uh, just let me know how, what you guys think. You know what I mean? I'm doing my best to uh, to, uh, to communicate uh, correctly. I'm not the best communicator, but I pray this content is blessing you guys. Please uh, email me. You got a question, guys, and uh, you guys have a blessed day.